guys, how's it going? I hope you're all staying warm in these lovely winter snowstorms we've been having. So if you're like me, you've been wanting to get into bread making for a little while now, but can't seem to bring myself to start like a sourdough starter just because it seems way too intimidating for someone who's never made a loaf of bread. So I wanna share with you a recipe today that I found from a woman on TikTok. I will link her name in the description if I can find her video again. And it is just the most basic, simple, and delicious bread that can kind of jumpstart your bread making journey. So all it takes are these ingredients you see right here. You need some raw honey, some active dry yeast. These also come in little packets. Some salt. Um, I'm just using Himalayan sea salt. You can use whatever kind of salt you want. You need some good old all-purpose flour. I use unbleached flour. You can substitute, you know, whatever kind you want, um, different grains and all that. And I don't have it yet because I need it to stay warm, but we will be using some warm water. So what we're going to do to get started here, I have my notes here so I tell you accurate measurements. So we're going to get started by scooping three cups of flour into this bowl along with a few cracks of salt. It calls for two teaspoons of salt, but since I have a cracker here, I just do a few cracks, but the actual measurement is two teaspoons. So now that I have my three cups of flour in here, I'm just gonna crack roughly two teaspoons of salt. I don't think you can really overdo it with salt, personal preference. So now I'm just going to take my spatula and mix these together just a little bit, just to incorporate the salt into the flour. And that's it for dry ingredients. We're just gonna set this off to the side now. So now I need to go get one and three fourths cups of warm water. And it's very important that this is warm water because that's what will activate our yeast. So now that I have my one and three fourths cups of warm water, I'm going to take my one teaspoon and my raw honey and mix them together. I'm just gonna take a little whisk, whisk it together, and it's ready for the two teaspoons of active dry yeast. And I'll be putting four of these scoops in since this is half a teaspoon. And we're just gonna take our whisk again, Whisk it all together. And I'm just whisking it until I see the yeast dissolve into the water. And now we just need to wait until the yeast blooms. So that's what we were looking for. So now we're just gonna take our bowl of flour and salt, and then this has our water, honey, and our yeast and I'm just gonna mix it together. I'm just gonna take my spatula again and combine them. I just have a clean kitchen towel and I'm going to get this damp and then I'm just gonna drape it over the bowl. And this is just so the dough doesn't dry out while it's rising. And it really is as simple as that. Um, there, it's just a few ingredients and it doesn't take much time. So I'm just gonna let this rise under this damp towel for two to three hours or until it's doubled in size. And at that point, I will come back and I'll show you how to bake it. So I will see you in two to three hours. So I am back now. It's been about three hours and let's take a look. 
As you can see, the dough has risen a ton. On a clean work surface, I'm going to put just a little bit of flour down. I'm also going to try and cover my hands a little bit in flour to help the sticking. And I also have a bowl with parchment paper in it. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the dough, place it on here, and this is a no knead bread. So we're just going to be folding it into our dough shape. And then we're going to place it in here on the parchment paper to rest for an additional 30 minutes. bowl standing by and I'm just trying to take this dough and kind of fold it all in on itself. I'm going to use some more flour on the table. I usually do this on a cutting board but for the sake of today's video I just decided to do it on the table. It might not have been the best choice. It's all kind of somewhat in a dough shape. Let's get this off. This definitely doesn't have to be perfect. As you can see, mine's not perfect. I'm going to just plop it into the bowl. So now we have our dough in this bowl with parchment paper and it's just going to sit like this for 30 minutes. And while your dough is just chilling there, this is the perfect opportunity to go preheat your oven to 450 degrees with your cast iron Dutch oven in there. So that's what we're gonna do. Once your oven is preheated, all you're gonna do is take the dough and the parchment paper all in one and place that into your Dutch oven shove it in the oven and the person I got this recipe from said to cook it for 30 minutes but I find that in my oven that's not enough time so I have to cook it for either 35 or 40 minutes and that kind of goldens up the top a little bit more but other than that that that's all there is to it it's really simple no need just four ingredients five if you count water it's a really good confidence boost for your bread making abilities and this might just be the perfect stepping stone you need to start trying some other breads i personally haven't tried any other breads yet but i definitely will be and so now i'll just put this entire thing in the oven for 35 minutes. Start checking it at about 30 minutes though. delicious that looks. You can still see the steam even coming off of it. A fantastic way to test out your bread is with a little bit of that honey. absolutely delicious. Thank you guys for hanging out with me today and I'll see you in the next video.